Okay, so number four should look like R I W N. Okay. Negative four. Okay, same thing. Go back to your chart. Does it fall in here? It doesn't fall within naturals because it's only these are only positives, no zero. This one, whole, um, so it's gonna be no. So whole is no because that's zero and only the positives. Is it an integer? Yes, so negative four. So if this one's a yes, then that makes this one a yes. So it's an integer and a rational. And I'm sick, so sometimes when I say rational, it sounds like I'm saying irrational, but I'm actually not, so just know that. Pay attention. Rational and an integer. A square root of two. Okay, we can look at our sheet. A square root of two. This one's kind of easy because it's already on here. There's not a whole, whole lot of irrational numbers. There are some. There's just not a whole lot. So um, that should be kind of an automatic. So it's an irrational. And we know it can't be anything else because it's either heads or it's tails. It's either rational or it's irrational. Okay, so it's only going to be irrational. So you're just going to write IR. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Zero. So where does zero fall? Okay, is it a natural number? Is zero listed on here? No. Okay, it's only one and greater than one positive whole numbers. Okay, um, whole numbers include zero. So that one's going to be a yes. And if the inside one's a yes, then the rest of them are a yes. So it, yes, it's going to be a whole. Yes, it's going to be an integer. And yes, it's going to be rational. So we got whole, integer, and rational. Okay. I did one through five. You're going to do six through ten, and then scroll down to the next section. I'm going to do three, and you're going to do three. So it says, write an example from daily life that uses each type of real number. Okay, sometimes you guys make it harder than what it needs to be for these, but I do like you to know um, some places where there are um, these types of numbers in the real world. So on each of these, we need to do a whole, an integer, a rational um, so if we're looking at a whole number, don't think too hard. Okay, a whole number is zero or anything greater than zero. Okay, but it has to be positive and it has to be whole. So I can't say a dollar fifty because that is not a whole number. Okay, but I have ten fingers. That's a whole number. I have umpteen bazillion pair of shoes. Okay, that's a whole number. I have one dog. That's a whole number. Um, I have right now currently three iPads going, okay? Um, so I can teach you guys from home. That's a whole number, okay? So any of those are whole numbers and that counts, okay? So um, you can pick any of those examples and write it down. So I have one dog. It's not really a dog, it's a puppy. Don't ever get a puppy. They're a lot of work. Okay, the next one is an integer. Integer, same thing. So it can be any positive, any negative, or zero number. So, um, for example, I lost five dollars in eight ball. I won five dollars in eight ball. We can say five dollars because we're talking about the whole dollars. But you can't say I lost five twenty-five in eight ball. Okay, because that twenty-five cents makes it a rational and not an integer. Okay, so but nobody who bets five twenty-five in eight ball. Okay, it's usually like. Some people a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. Okay, it's not like some change. Um, okay, same thing. Um, I have ten days off of work. Um, I missed four on my homework. Okay, that would be uh, a negative four. So any of those work. Okay, so pick something, write it down. Um, for this one, I'm going to say I lost... five dollars okay the last one is rational so these ones are not hard if you don't make it hard so two of the easiest things to think about when we're talking about rational when do we use fractions in real life okay um, so in real life the most of the time that we use fractions I will tell you right now 
oh my god, don't ever have kids, okay? My kid eats Kraft macaroni and cheese at least five times a week. I have the box memorized. It takes four tablespoons of butter and a fourth of a cup of milk, okay? That's sad. I hate Kraft macaroni and cheese now. Uh, so fractions, especially when we're cooking, is a rational number. So uh, an example would be a fourth of a cup of milk, okay? Um, a third of a cup of flour, an eighth of a cup of, I don't know what else you would, oil, okay? Um, and the other type would be price, a $1.99 bag of chips. Um, gas is $2.99 um, per gallon. Okay, those are all different types of rational numbers, um, so any of those would work. Um, the vending machines, I don't know what they are, like $1.50, $1.75. Um, so I'm going to say a third cup of milk okay um, and then you guys have the bottom four try not to use one of my examples I'm gonna know if you use one of my examples so think of something of your own to use okay um, for the last three I don't care if they're in a whole sentence I'm not a freaking English teacher so um, uh, and then that's it for today it was fairly short intentionally um, because as you know the internet went out so my seventh period and sixth period kids are kind of a little bit behind um, if you have work to do um, get some of that done so some of you guys are starting to dig yourself in a little hole before I forget next Thursday they changed our in-service day um, so you will have a regular e-learning day okay so I won't be on zoom so don't get on zoom next Thursday even if you're a virtual student um, well, right now you guys pretty much all are, but, um, even if you're a virtual student, do not get on zoom. I will tell you right now what your assignment will be. Okay. Your assignment is going to be to do any makeup work. So, um, I will make sure that I have grades done by Wednesday and that gives you all day Thursday to get any of my stuff in. Um, and then hopefully I should be back by not this coming up Monday, but the following Monday. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll see soon as I know, I'll tell you guys, but, um, so get some of your stuff done. If you're curious what I, what you have missing, um, if you go up to the top corner on here on zoom, you can click on more and there's chat. Um, and it says send to everyone, or you can just send it to me. Um, or you can send me a message through canvas or on remind, um, please behave for the sub, especially two noisy boys, Isaiah and William. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, mind your P's and Q's, be good. Uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend um, and sleep in and get some sleep, but get my stuff done. You have plenty of time. So, um, and I will see you guys Monday. Stay on if you want, get off if you want, that's up to you.